What's up guys, it's Neil here with Gadget Hacks, and today we're going to go over how to create an iTunes backup for your iOS device. So while you may be using an iCloud backup, it's still pretty useful to have an iTunes backup just in case. Now while iCloud backups are more convenient since you can consistently be backing up your device daily, an iTunes backup will store more information and it will also take up less space or no space at all on your iOS device like an iCloud backup will. So let's just quickly go over the process of how to do this on your computer. So we're here in iTunes with our iOS device connected to the computer. Now in iTunes you're going to click this little phone icon right up here. After doing that you're going to be given all this information about your device and right here under backups if you want to always automatically back up your device on iTunes once it's connected, then check right here under automatically backup this computer. Now to quickly make a backup, you're just gonna put backup now and you'll start creating a backup. Now just so you're aware, the stuff that won't be included in an iTunes backup is PhotoStream, iCloud Photo Library, Touch ID information, Apple Pay information, apps, iTunes purchases, and PDFs. Also, by default, health and home kit data also won't be included, but if you use this little option, encrypt iPhone backup and create a password, you, you can include that information and also keep your backup safe if you have other users on your computer that also use iTunes. So again, this will include health and home care information. And for that other stuff like PDFs and applications, of course, you can just sync your device via iTunes, which is pretty easy to do and seamlessly done after backing up or restoring your device. For more information on that, check out this guide over at GadgetX.com. As you can see right now, I'm backing up my device after I used an encrypted backup. So it might take a few minutes longer and it might also or it will also require a password when you try restoring the device later which we'll go over right now. Now before restoring your device which we're going to do right now, make sure you go into the settings on your iOS device and disable find my iPhone or find my iPad whatever it is and just go ahead and disable that otherwise you won't be able to restore. Once that's done just go ahead and restore backup. Now you can choose from any of the backups you've done in the past, if you're using an encrypted one, it will require you to enter the password. Now I've already done this a few times, so I'm not gonna go ahead and do it, but that's essentially it. Now for more information on this process and iTunes backup, you're definitely gonna wanna check out the full guide over at GadgetX.com. Also don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for some more awesome, very useful Gadget videos. Thanks guys.